so hello everyone welcome to one class tip channel my name is devansh pohit and today in this session we'll be um, going through some so basically this session is going to be a q and a session of mathematics and uh, so uh, so a little bit background about myself so i am in the final year of my graduation in aerospace engineering and uh, uh, if you need any uh, if you need any tutoring help or if you need any one to one live sessions then you can check the links in the description below and so without wasting your time let's just begin with our lesson today mm, uh, don't look at the solution that was from previous one yeah just a minute yeah so we have the first question here just a minute so this is question number 1 so we need to prove uh, we need to prove that the square root of 17 is irrational subsequently prove that n times the square root of 17 is irrational too for any natural number n so let's just i'll just first write the problem statement here proves that square root of 17 is irrational oh, i'll just rewrite this my writing looks very horrible right now so Uh, I'll just leave this this also doesn't look good yeah so subsequently prove that n times the square root of 17 is irrational too so for this proof I will go with the solution given here because this is a lengthy kind of proof and I'm not good at memorizing things so first we need to prove that again yeah so let's say that square root of 17 is uh, p over q where p and q are integers uh, prime integers to each other that is grade of p comma q is equal to 1 then squaring on both these sides will get 17 equal to p square over q square now i can just uh, multiply q square on both the sides so i'll just multiply q square on both these sides so i'll get 17 um, q square equal to um, p square this is going to be our equation number one then we have uh, what we'll do um, um, in this equation only where I multiplied q square on both the terms we'll be dividing it uh, with uh, p square and then uh, I guess we need p down here so we need uh, this in terms of yeah that will be 17 over p square sir. so we'll be dividing both these sides with 17 and again yeah multiplying both the sides with uh, q so this will become p square equal to um, p square over 17 equal to q square now that means um, p equal to 17 r and let's say this is our second equation now for some any random integer r um if i do the squaring on both the sides then the square of 17 17 square is 289 so what we did here basically we just wanted to find that um, like this is a mathematical um, operation or uh, it is a kind of procedure so that we can say p is nothing but 17 r because 17 q square equal to p square and p square over 17 is q square so like 
p equal p is equal to 17 r then uh, p equal to p square equal to 289 r square this will be 3 and therefore what we'll do we'll substitute this 3 third equation in the first one so here we had 17 q square equal to p square was 289 r square uh, now with this uh, uh, this is 17 q square equal to 289 r square this means q square equal to 17 r square and this looks familiar i think yeah so this first one and the last one looks similar now let's check the definition here also so q square over 17 uh, therefore q over 17 which implies that q equal to 17 r now where r is some integer so from 2 and 7 again we will do q square over 17 therefore q over 17 equal to r or q equal to 17 r again uh, we'll do the uh, we'll substitute this q equal to 17 r or q square equal to 170 uh, sorry this will be 289 i guess um uh, 289 r square this is 4 and this will substitute i guess um uh, um okay so i did one squaring extra this is supposed to be the um fourth equation and we'll substitute this four in two so four in two this will give me um, p equal to q now which contradicts so from you know, we have p comma q of 17 which contradicts our assumption that get p comma q equal to 1 so root 17 is not rational that is root 17 is irrational now we have to prove that n root 17 um, means we have to prove for n root 17 is irrational where n is a natural number so again will write n root 17 equal to p over q again for p over q p and for p and q for of some integers where q is not equal to 0 or this will become p over q n and again it is contradicting with the uh, with the statement above because the it should be p comma q should be 1 and uh, here the left side is irrational number whereas the right side is rational number so oh, oh, i forgot to write this so here again the um, right side is irrational and left side is rational so again this is not true and n times square root of 17 is irrational like such kind of proofs are not ours like i have never encountered such kind of problems in my life but yeah i know that square root of 17 is irrational so i'll just write correct solution good work